Hello. Today I got a present in the mail that had some paints, some brushes, and a sample pack of the Baohong Master's Choice watercolor paper. Now I've used the rough before and I love it, so I'm really looking forward to sharing the results of my tests with this smooth paper and the medium paper as well. So get stuck in, here we go, welcome. Okay, first up we have the smooth paper and we are going to do some washes and do this little test and uh, see what we can come up with. Flat wash. I've just drawn these little squares because it was fun. Um, for no other reason other than just to have something there on the on the page. Keep us keep me uh, keep me bound up. And I've got some Daniel Smith manganese blue just to do this smooth wash with. Now I don't use smooth paper at all. I think I've done a couple of things in my entire life on smooth paper. So it'll be interesting to see how it behaves. Flat washes, you just get stuck in. We'll see how that dries off. And we'll go do a graded wash all the way across there. Just get some nice strong stuff in at the top. There we go. Beautiful, isn't that? Just bloody beautiful. And then just start bringing that down with some water. See so, yeah, how I don't, you know, smooth paper. The Baohong quality wise is great, but I'm just not used to smooth, so we'll see how. We'll see how that travels. Wet on wet, oh, good fun. Let's go. See how we go here. It's good fun, the wet on wet stuff. My second color is a Daniel Smith French ochre, like a Raw sienna yellow ochre type vibe, so we'll see how things mix and mingle. We'll go this color for some dry brush. Let's just try some sort of thicker paint. You can even get a different brush. So I guess it works. Some wet and wet here with thicker. See what effects can come out of it. And we'll just wait for that to dry off and see where it takes us and we'll examine them. So dry, 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 electro dry, and we'll try and lift some out too. Okay, we're back, let's have a look. It's all dried off. Um, now I'm just gonna try and lift a couple of things out and see how it goes. But first observations are with the smooth paper, flat wash is kind of dried off a bit speckly, not granular, I just mean it's a bit, you know, a bit uneven, but I guess it's just smooth paper and that's the properties, you know, I'm just, you know, it's the properties of the paper that we're looking at here. The graded wash is, is quite all right. It's still, you know, not great for, for that smooth stuff, which I suppose, ironically, is, um, is uh, yeah, not so great for smooth paper is those, you know, smooth results. Because um, the water tends to pool on the surface a little bit rather than sort of soak into the grain. Wet on wet, that's all right. I like that little soft effect in the back there, that was nice. And marks have been, have held quite nicely. Little swirly bits we made. And the dry brushes dried off quite nicely. It was a bit uh, a bit tricky to paint because it's so slippery. The surface is so slippery. But, um, but yeah, you can get some good results as well. So I just want to try 
to see how things lift out. Obviously, different colours are going to behave differently as well. You know, all things being equal, we'll use the same colours on, on every surface. So just a bit of uh, water on a brush. Let's just make a mark. Oh, that lifts out incredibly well. Incredibly well. Let's do this. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Smiley face, look at that. That, seriously, that uh, dots out really nicely. Let's see how it goes with just splattering and lifting out rather than scrubbing at it as well. That works. It just comes straight back up. Smooth paper, you'd sort of expect that, so that's good. All right, let's go. We've got the uh, the good old medium now. We're gonna do the same test, exactly the same test. So wet that down a bit, just for my flat wash. Same colors, same, same, same. Well, you can already see on the medium that that looks, the blue feels more vibrant anyway, color-wise, to me. Nice and flat, it's looking better already to me, to my eye. Well, better, it's different, it behaves differently. I was not used to the smooth, it freaked me out. All right, so the graded wash, same story, bring it across there, grab some water, and you can start bringing it down. Now so some water. Some wet on wet. The front choker. Oh, that looks nice. Nicely dispersed. Let's see if we can get some nice sparkly. Yeah, there we go, look at that. Nice sparkly brush marks. Draw a brush. It's good. Let's do the other test. I mean, I think the textured paper certainly lends itself to to dry brush a lot better in my view. You know, you, you make the most of all the, the textures that's underneath. And uh, yeah, it just looks better for me. But uh, that's all cool. I'll dry this off and see how we go with the lifting test. Okay, we're back. Look at that. The magic of technology and hair dryers, it's already dry. So just wait for it to cool off a little bit. Just having a look. I think it's uh, just by looking at the washers anyway, this flat wash has dried off a lot nicer and a lot more, a lot flatter, a lot more even. And same with the graded wash, it's just smoother and nice and nicer for me. Um, the wet on wet's really good, uh, although it was really good with the smooth as well, cool effect. Being the manganese blue, it's granulating a bit, which is nice. The dry brush, obviously I think that's a, a stellar thing on the medium. So let's just check for Lifting qualities, eh? We'll do it the same way as we did on the other. I think it's gonna be good again. Yep. Yeah, it's lifted beautifully. Look at that, There's some splatter. See how it sits with, without scrubbing. While we're waiting on that to do its thing, let's do the smiley test. Yep, smiley test works. And the dot lifting seems, the splatter lifting seems to be all right as well. 
overall, I think uh, the flat wash worked out really nicely. The uh, yeah, they all look really good to me. Um, so on to the rough, the third and final rough. Right, we are back and we are getting into the rough surface paper. Now, I've used this quite a bit, but um, and it does chew up your pencils. It's quite rough. It's quite rough. So it takes a beating. You can uh, you can treat it terribly, and it it'll still behave itself. All right. Go. Nice bit of flat. Let's do some graded. Nice oh, smooth, smooth strokes. I mean, not the texture, obviously. Joker, different textures in there, different thicknesses of paint. Let's see what it does. Okay. And lastly, we've got the dry brush, so let's try and get some sparkly strokes. Okay, beautiful. works beautifully again so you get that texture it's lovely beautiful I love it I love it it's definitely my favorite all right so just to analyze those a little bit as they've uh, dried off uh, I think personally, I believe the rough has worked the best out of all three. And that's not, oh, I mean, yes, I'm used to it, but, uh, and it's, it is my personal preference overall, but I think um, it's displayed the best watercolor paper properties for me. So the flat wash is actually really nice and flat. The graded wash is nice and gentle, smooth. The wet on wet creates some cool stuff because of the texture, put some little bit thicker stuff in and it works really nicely. And the dry brush speaks for itself. It's, uh, you know, obviously gonna be the, the most dramatic of the lot because of that texture. So I really like the rough. I like it rough, baby. No, sorry, I shouldn't say that. Um, let's try the lifting test. Same, 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 same. Ah, beautiful, beautiful. Is it gonna be the same? Yep. Let's do a splatters, and then we'll uh, try a little smiley face for a bit, a bit of a laugh. Smiley face works beautifully again. The splattery, not so much. I think a, the rough textured paper needs a bit of help with the, the brush, a bit of scrubbing. 
yeah, you can see just from a little bit of scrubbing. Works a treat. Thank you very much. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and share it with your mates. Share it like Sonny Bono. Thank you so much. Check out my other vids too. There's heaps of good stuff in there and production value is just top bloody notch. Seriously, very cool. My overall verdict on this paper is one of very goodness. It's not a word, it's not a good phrase. It's not called grammar. Uh, it's very good, very, very good. Um, great value to uh, quality ratio. Uh, the quality is very, very good for how much it costs. Um, hopefully the pricing stays where it is. It's very cool, but no, it's very cool. And it, the, I think the, the things that make it different from a lot of the cheaper papers out there, uh, yes, it's 100% cotton, it's acid-free, uh, but it's, it actually uses all natural sizing. There's no synthetic sizing, so it's not slippery. It's, yeah, it's real paper. It's good like that. Overall, very good. I'd be highly recommending any of it. My individual takes on the three three textures are the smooth look. I, I just don't like smooth paper. Um, it's just something I'll never have. I probably never will. It's, it's all right and fun to muck around on, but it's just not for me personally. Having said that, it did what it should have done. So quality was no problem. So if you're into smooth paper, absolutely can't go wrong here. Um, the medium, I'm really interested in looking at a bit more because uh, on the little tests, it behaved really well. Um, it wasn't quite as smooth in the washes as the rough paper, uh, ironically. Um, but yeah, it uh, seemed to be quite nice. I wouldn't mind trying it and doing some, some proper pieces on it. And uh, lastly, but definitely my overall winner, uh, is and look is the rough look i'm used to it yes absolutely but it's got some really cool properties that um make it fun make it very very fun one of those things is it, it's very rough that's that's the thing that you first notice when you get it it's very rough compared to saunders and arches and things so um yeah, the texture is, yeah, choose your pencils up, which is kind of cool. It's, it's good. It's, it's one of the things that makes it um, makes it work really well. Good for uh, buildings and textures and old things. Paint itself, it doesn't, doesn't move around as much on its own um, as some of the other papers, like especially Archers and Saunders. Um, it can't, you'll kind of have to force it a little bit. So those little magic little watercolour moments are a bit harder to come by. The best thing about the rough paper, this rough paper, I think, is that it takes an absolute beating. Uh, you can go over and over and over and over and over again, and it's fine. It, uh, it's it's very very cool. They all lift out really well, including the rough. Um, the one thing the rough doesn't do that great is scraping. So if you're used to scraping with like credit card or palette knife or anything. Um, it's not great at that, but having said that, it's all that's all about timing, and you get used to it. You can just change your change your timing and your technique a little bit there. But overall, the rough is the winner for me. Smoothest washes by far. Takes a lot of water, so um, it ends up just being a much smoother wash that I found. Winner, winner, chicken, freaking chicken freaking bloody dinner is the rough paper for me. Quality wise, you can't go wrong. Give it a crack. Highly recommend it. I'll put some links in the description box below so you can track them down and learn more about them. So very, very cool paper. Bao Hong Master's Choice. I believe it's distributed in Australia by Senior Art Supplies. So I'll uh, link to everything there. Thank you very much for watching again and I will talk to you later. Adios, amigos. Bye-bye. Have you used this Bao Hong paper? Tell me about it in the comments. What do you think?